Hey, what's up you guys? It's Josh Petruccio from Internet Money and today is going to be the first video in a producer marketing series that I'm going to be doing focusing on how to market your beats and how to make money online by selling music. Um, today is going to be the beginner video, five steps that you need to start selling music online. Um, even if you are making a little bit of money online, Stay tuned, watch the whole video. I guarantee you're gonna learn something that you didn't know before. Uh, so stick around, let's get into these five steps. Okay, so the five steps we're gonna get into today are perfecting your craft, putting yourself out there, uh, branding, time management, and adaptability. Like I said, this is a beginner episode. So those of you who feel like you are past this point, uh, you might wanna stick around because I guarantee you're gonna learn something that you didn't know before. And for those of you who you know are just starting out, Pay attention and watch closely. Uh, you know, take any advice that's in here and put it to good use. Uh, with that being said, let's get into it. Okay, so step number one is going to be perfecting your craft. Essentially, what this means is um, getting better at making music. Some of you guys might think you have this down, and I can tell you that number one, you don't, and number two, you can always get better. Um, I see tons of you guys in forums and Discord chats and YouTube comments stating, uh, you know, why am I not selling beats? Why am I not selling anything? Why is nobody buying from me? And the first thing I see is when I click on your channel is your music sucks. And I don't mean any offense by that because someone telling you that you can get better is always a good thing. Someone telling you that you need to improve is, you know, constructive criticism and you have to be willing to take that. You have to be willing to get better constantly. Uh, putting yourself around people that give you honest feedback is way better than putting you around yes men that tell you you know everything that you put out is great okay so another thing that i haven't mentioned yet is uh developing your own sound and your own style and you know that might seem difficult you know difficult because we're doing tight beats and we are tight beat producers but you should never go into a beat thinking okay this is going to be a drake type beat this is going to be a travis scott type beat you should go in there making what you want to make and you know the title is an afterthought the title should be you know the last step that you do it should not be the first the only way to develop your own sound is to make what you want to make there's a reason that you can hear a beat and, and you know know that that's taz's beat no that's nick's beat uh, everybody has their own sound you can hear something and think oh uh, i know e true produced that i know josh produced that and the only way that comes is with lots of practice and by making the stuff that you want to make don't go in there thinking i have to make a little uzi type beat i have to make a little yachty type beat go in there thinking you know i have to make a josh petruccio type beat and that's what i'm gonna make um you know if you do that i guarantee it'll help you out in the long run okay so some of you guys out there are thinking you know you telling me to get better isn't gonna make me improve any how and what steps can i take to make better music and number one is practice uh, there's a reason, you know, Nick periscopes every day for three to four hours, improving and, you know, continuing to make beat after beat after beat. You know, making one or two beats a day might seem okay for you, but for him it isn't. And that's why he's making, you know, uh, the money that he is and he's doing what he is because he's putting so much work into it and there's never enough work that can't be put into it. You know, number two, there is a little thing called the Internet Money Channel. I don't know if you guys heard of it, but they put out some pretty cool tutorials Basically, anything you need to know is in this channel. I recommend it. Go give it a look. And uh, number three is actually going to be the second step that we're going to be taking. And I'm going to get into that here. Okay, so step number two is going to be putting yourself out there. And essentially what that means is, you know, putting your music online. And while that might seem kind of obvious to some of you, you'd be surprised how many people are there out there, you know, that say things like, you know, my music isn't good enough or it isn't. I'm not at the point yet where I'm ready to put stuff online. And I'm going to tell you straight up that that mentality will get you nowhere. You know, uh, putting something out there is better than putting nothing, regardless of how good or how bad it is. If there's two kids that want to play, you know, want to make the soccer team and one kid goes and practices by himself and another kid goes and practices with his friends, I guarantee the guy that goes and practices with his friends or with his peers is going to have a better shot at making a team because A, he's learning from others. He's learning their techniques. He's learning, uh, you know, their different skills and B, it's competition. You know, he has motivation to improve. You won't want to improve just playing with yourself. Pause. Okay, so step number three is going to be branding. Um, I think I'm just going to touch base on this. I want to go deeper into it in another video. But for now, I just want to say that uh, to sell music online, you have to have a brand. Uh, too many guys go into this wondering why they're not making any money when they have a, a stupid ass name and their thumbnails are their three-year-old family photos. 
Okay, so you guys have to start realizing that you're not only a producer, but you're also a business. Uh, there's too many of you guys out there with, you know, corny ass names, uh, the beat pharmacy, you know, the beat bakery, things like that. And those aren't even the worst of them. You know, those of you who have those super corny ass names, you know who you are. And I'm telling you straight up right now that you will not be taken seriously by producers and you will not be taken seriously by artists. Um, what I'm trying to say is that if you act like a professional, people will treat you like a professional. Like I said, I'm not going to go super into detail into this right now. I can do that in another video. But basically, just be aware of, you know, when you're trying to sell things. And even if you do make a sale, you know, if you have uh, just bad branding, you might have made that money up front, but that customer is not going to be coming back to you. So always be thinking, you know, two steps ahead and j instead of just, you know, look five, ten sales ahead instead of just that one that's right in front of you. And keep that in mind whenever you're trying to make your own brand and, you know, you're trying to make a name for yourself. Anyways, let's move on to step four. Okay, so step number four is going to be time management. And as you can probably guess, this means managing your time. This means don't upload every other month. Don't upload once a month. Make music consistently. I know some of you guys are super busy. You got jobs. You got your families. You got your kids. But find the time that you can to make music. You know, put stuff out consistently. Treat this like it's your only source of income. And over time, it will be. I promise you. But you have to be willing to put in the work. Okay, so what this also means is stop side projects. And by that, I mean I see too many producers with no followings, you know, very little subscribers, uh, very little social media presence, and they're out there putting time, you know, effort and energy into drum kits and, you know, MIDI kits and loop kits and all these other sorts of ideas that it's essentially just wasting their time. They haven't bu built the fan base. They haven't put in the work, you know, to build this following that's going to want what they're trying to give out. Uh, you know, if you're not selling to artists, then why are you trying to sell them to producers? It's you know, one foot in front of the other. Quit trying to take a giant leap ahead. It's not going to work. You're wasting your time. Focus on, you know, building your brand first before you start trying to branch off and do different so things. Last but not least, I'm going to talk about adaptability. And essentially what that means is, you know, adapting to the different things that are going on in, uh, you know, the industry and with your music. And by that, I mean, you have to be willing to change what you're doing to constantly, uh, you know, be a step ahead of the competition. I'm going to show you a look here at my thumbnails. And as you can see, they've changed a lot. I'm constantly changing because the market itself is constantly changing. OK, so a couple months back, uh, YouTube went through a phase where essentially you had to buy views in order to rank. And, you know, as you can see, a lot of, of uh, producers that were just starting were rising up and a lot of producers that had been here for a while you know were kind of falling off because of this now YouTube did fix its algorithm but as you can see you know right here uh, this is before all this happened you know 132,000 uh, 16,000 26,000 and then you know things st slowly started falling down uh, 5,000 10,000 4,000 4,000 5,000 and you can see I had to adjust I had to switch things up you know I tried something new this year obviously 3,000 4,000 this didn't work so again I switch things up I'm constantly changing until I find what works for me and even when something does work for me I'm still having to you know think ahead of what's my next step if this stops working you know as you can see uh, things pick back up you know 116,000 19,000 um, you can see here I went from 749 subscribers last month to already you know 1300 this month and I you know I see too many people of you know creating one little niche or one little unique thing and when people start riding that wave or when people uh you know start copying it and when it doesn't uh it stops working for a little bit they freak out you know like, what do i do next how can i how can i change or why isn't this working anymore and you can't be a one-trick pony in, uh, you know in this market all those people that were ranking when the youtube algorithm was fucked up what are they doing now you know i don't see them ranking anymore you know why because they were a one-trick pony and they weren't willing to adapt and in this business, especially the music business, you have to adapt if you want With to be successful. With that being successful. said, there is no uh, one secret or, you know, one trick that you can use to automatically start making sales. I don't know why people, you know, think that there's some uh, sauce out there that all they need is this one little thing and, you know, they'll start making, you know, thousands of dollars every month. And it doesn't work like that. It's as much as corny as it is, it's hard work that gets you to this point. And you guys have to understand that. Uh, that in order to be successful you have to change 
And you know, change is one of the hardest things to do in life. But in business, especially the music business, it has to be done. Otherwise, you will not succeed. If you're not moving forward, you are moving backwards here. And you have to constantly be, uh, you know, creating new things and moving forward in order to, you know, make a living off of this. Okay, so hopefully you guys learned a little something from this. Uh, like I said at the beginning, this was kind of just touching base. I'm really wanting to get more in depth with a few different subjects. You know, I was wanting to do one on social media, uh, ranking on YouTube, uh, beat stars, you know, a couple different things. So if you guys want to let me know which one you guys want to see next, and hopefully I can go into more detail into that. Uh, like I said, there really isn't any uh, secret sauce out there. It's just, uh, you know, a lot of hard work and a lot of, uh, you know, creativity that goes into, you know, being successful in this uh, music industry. Um, go follow me on Instagram, uh, Twitter, you know, I say a lot of depressing shit on there. If you guys are into that, you know, go follow me, uh, subscribe, go check out my drum kits on wave supply, all that kind of stuff. Uh, let me see, let me know what you guys want to see next and, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.